Hi, I'm Mr Macmillan. The 16th century artist Michelangelo was commissioned by Pope Sixtus IV to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel inside the Vatican City. One of the most well-known parts of the ceiling is an image referred to as the Creation of Adam. In the painting there are several features that highlight a Catholic Christian understanding of creation. Much like the Genesis creation narratives, the painting is not meant to be understood as a literal representation of creation. Neither is the painting meant to represent a precise rendering of the creation narratives either. Instead, the painting is meant to help people come to a greater understanding and appreciation of Christian beliefs through art. It was painted at a time when most of the population were unable to read, and so expressing theology through art and music was an important way that ordinary Christians learned more about the faith. There are several features of the painting that you should aim to remember. God is flying, which demonstrates his power and transcendence. God is powerful in that he is flying, which is not something a human can do. The fact that he is above the earth shows his transcendence, that he is separate from creation. God appears to look like an old man with a grey beard. This signifies that God is old and wise. This suggests that God could be seen as an all-knowing, eternal being. By contrast, Adam is a young, well-formed man. His young appearance shows that he is a creature made by God. Also, the fact that he is portrayed as a healthy, strong person indicates that God's creation is good and beautiful. Both Adam and God have been painted in human form, which demonstrates the concept that humans are made in the image of God. Some scholars point out that this connection is made stronger by the fact that the various parts of God and Adam line up neatly, for example the eyes, the chest, the fingers and the feet. The cloud upon which God is sitting has been likened by some to a womb. The green cord floating below could be a representation of an umbilical cord. Some think that this shows the idea that God is the creator and humans are God's children, born from the womb of God. Others have pointed out that the cloud shape looks like the shape of a brain. This might mean that Michelangelo was trying to show that God should be thought of as a mind rather than a physical body. When Christians say that humans are made in the image of God, they do not mean a physical image, but rather the idea that humans are intelligent, moral beings like God. Furthermore, God appears to be stretching out to reach Adam. This illustrates the idea that God wants to be in relationship with humans and that humans are dependent on God. Adam is literally laid back, and this shows further the idea that creation is all about God's power and creative force. Until God touches Adam, he is lifeless. Humans are completely dependent on God. Finally, Adam is alone, not surrounded by any other creatures, which shows that human beings are unique and special. Humans alone are made in the image of God, and humans alone can be in relationship with God. Some critics say that an image like this can be misleading and does not accurately reflect Christian understandings of creation. For example, some would say that the painting does not reflect accurately the Genesis narratives. In Genesis 2, God creates Adam from the earth and then breathes life into him, whereas the painting suggests that God gives life by touching Adam. Also, God and Adam are painted as being the same size. This might mistakenly give the impression that humans are equal to God. Furthermore, some suggest that the painting of God as an old man might indicate weakness and frailty, rather than power or wisdom. Finally, some think that painting God in human form at all could mislead people, particularly children, into thinking that God has a physical human form. Another piece of art that attempts to portray the idea of creation is a mosaic in St. Bartholomew's Church in New York by the 20th century artist Hildreth Mayer. The mosaic portrays a hand in the centre coming out of a cloud. From the hand are lines of light reaching out to a circle that surrounds the whole image. The hand in the centre represents God. It is relatively large in comparison to the cloud, which shows God's power. The fact that the rest of God is hidden shows God's transcendence, as he cannot be fully understood or experienced. In the Bible, clouds are often associated with God's power and presence. In the Old Testament, a cloud guided Moses and the Israelites through the desert and was a sign of God's presence with them. In the New Testament, God speaks from the clouds at Jesus' baptism and at his transfiguration. The lines going out from the middle represent God's creative power reaching out to create the whole universe, which is represented by the circle around the edge. The picture is not showing one moment of creation, but rather the whole of creation. 
The hand of God is placed in the centre of the image, rather than above creation, showing that God is involved in the universe and influences all things, rather than being completely detached. It suggests that creation is dependent on God. Thanks for watching. I've been Mr. McMillan.